guys. Dude, it's like a big warm hug from your grandma. Hug you know that's what right. I mean? <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hey, how's it going guys? We have kind of a fun one today. Me and Ben haven't seen each other in at least a couple months. It's been yeah, like two months. It's been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute since we've seen each other and we were talking and we were like, oh dude, have you seen this thing? One of us is like, no, I haven't seen that thing. And the other guy's like, oh, but have you seen this thing? And then the other guy's like, no, I haven't seen that thing. So we've got some new gear. We got some exciting stuff from NAFS. Got some exciting stuff not from NAFS. And we got some thing. stories. Too. And we, dude, oh, we've got a story we've been trying to tell for years. But we haven't told it because it, it's not mean, it's not incriminating, but it no. probably wasn't a story we could tell before. Before. So stay tuned for that story. But we can tell that story now. Should we talk some knives? Let's talk some knives. So, Let's do it. okay, first one on the table. Uh, obviously, we're at the new NAFS HQ, which is super exciting. Yeah, this is literally the first professional video ever filmed here. This I'm really excited about. Yeah, so Lander, about Lander 2. Yeah. So we announced this back at the beginning of June. We did a Kickstarter on it. We had 850 backers. Ooh. So it funded. Yeah. We put in the PO for it. So basically, we've seen the Lander 1 before. Yeah. And I'm like, well, what happens next with this? Let's make it bigger and let's put a crossbar lock on it. This is actually a clutch lock, so it's adjustable. Kaiser is the cool. OEM on it. Right on. You know, the deeper I get into like the right to repair, make your own scales, make your own stuff, like, does the world really need another crossbar lock? Eh, there's a lot out there. There are a lot right? out there, yeah. But I get excited about just the entire system, right? Like, I'm working with Kaiser, we have extra screws, we have extra pocket clips, extra thumb studs. Like, it's not just a knife to me, it is a an entire system. Open source scale, so you can print your own at home, download the CAD file, do whatever you want yeah. with it. So to me, like, you're buying into a system of customization. Well, the Lander ecosystem is awesome. And not just saying that because I'm here, we did a whole video on the Lander when it launched last year, the yeah. original Lander. I'm really excited to see it bigger and I'm really excited to see it with the clutch lock because out of all the crossbar locks, uh, when we're talking about right to repair or even yeah. just getting in and tuning your stuff, yep. the clutch lock's the only one doing it right now, it's which super is super fun. cool. Yeah, super fun. Yeah. Uh, S35V and steel, which is also fun because okay. people are like, let's make better steel yeah. on the Lander. So, Traditionally, the Lander comes in D2 and 14C28N. Yep. Great, great steels, budget steels, but people are like, hey, let's make it in a stainless. So that is a Lander too, so it should be out in October. So we can't buy fun. this yet, is what you're You talking. cannot, we're just... <sighs> okay, Kickstarter's funded. So if you did the Kickstarter, awesome, thank you for that. Yeah. And then October. Yeah. So we'll make sure you guys are updated when that, when, that, yep. when that bad boy's uh, yep. available. Because I think it's a good one. It's a real good one. It's uh, a fun one. Rough, rough price points? Uh, it'll be about 129. That's not bad, dude. For that's, S35, like, yeah. that's the thing. I think Clutch some lock people, and S35, yeah. like, that's not bad. Some people are gonna complain, ah, oh, it's too expensive. But yeah. the reality, like, it's a system. Dude, what you got on the table? Speaking of price. I love it. I'm just gonna start with something expensive. I don't know the exact price on this, and I'll be honest, I don't even know if I can talk about this yet. Mm. But we're gonna do it anyways. <laughs> this is why we're both self-employed now, exactly. guys. So as you guys may or may not know, Boker is another sponsor of the channel. We work with Boker mm. regularly. We both love Boker, good I dudes, Boker. right? They recently were like, hey, we have this ballast song mm. and it's called The Faction. And they were like, hey, would you be willing to check it out? And I'm like, I love it. I'm not a ballast song guy, but I will check it out. And they're like, yeah, we think you're gonna like this. And I was like, okay, I'm down, right? Like they make that really great trainer. Yep. I love the Boker yep. trainer, right? So they sent this over to me and here's the thing. I'm not a ballast song guy. I completely admit that every single time. This thing's pretty cool, and I found that the reason that they thought I would like it, and I think the reason that I'm kind of digging it, is it's also designed for EDC. Yeah. So this is like, you can do tricks with this, but it's also an EDC belly song, which is cool. So it's got like a spring release latch, so you just squeeze the old handles, mm. and the latch releases. Are these titanium handles? Titanium handles, mm. S35 VN blade. Did you uh, just dent my table? Dude, I probably did. This is a brand new <laughs> table in the NAPS HQ. I scratched the baby, it's all right. <laughs> S35VN blade, and it's just, it's really smooth, it's really neat. It's got this awesome pocket clip on it. That's cool. And I don't know, it's just really cool. The guy that designed this has done some other designs with Boker. He works in yep. some battle song stuff from time to time. I cannot remember the name of his company right now. Jamie, if you'll flash it for me. Thank you. Poltergeist. Was it Poltergeist? Was it Poltergeist? That might be right. That might be right. I think it started with a P. Yeah, I think you're right. Anyways, kind of something different, kind of something a little weird. And so let me ask you a question, Zach. Yeah, yeah. Do you think, and, and you guys can sound off in the comments, are people carrying ballet songs for EDC? No, they're not. I think you have a cohort of primarily men, yes. not all men, yeah. but I've, I've been to ballet comp. Yes, uh, you invented ballet comp. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> Uh, me and Lawrence did. It was a, it was a yeah no joint on. joint venture joint venture. Yeah, Do yeah. you think that there's anyone outside of like the flipper community yeah. that is actually carrying a ballet song outside of the Philippines uh, for an EDC? Yes and no. Okay. And what I mean by that is I think that outside of the ballet community in the knife world, hmm. I don't think anybody is carrying a ballet song for EDC normally. Now, however, as a 25, 27, something like that, when my little sister got married, 
Yeah. Okay. When I went to her wedding, okay, I was just in Vegas. She got married in Vegas. I'm from Vegas originally. She got married in Vegas, so I went home to Vegas, right? I was in Vegas for a few days. I ended up somewhere that was selling a bunch of cool knives, gas station cool knives, and I bought a ballast Wait, song. stop. <laughs> Vegas wedding, somewhere that sells knives. Yeah. This is a good story. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah. This. No, no, I got a lot of stories from that. <laughs> um, but, I, you know, I, I ended up buying this, like, cheap little ballast song, and that's what I carried to my sister's wedding. And so after the wedding, I helped was cleaning up because it's family, you know what I mean? And I'm, like, flipping it in and out and, like, putting it in my pocket. People are just, like, like the groom side of the family is like, what is that guy doing? <laughs> it was amazing. But here's the thing, and this is and this is one reason I think that ballast song in the knife community isn't carried EDC. One, I think that it's seen as like a sport, right? Yeah. Like tricks and stuff like that, which is yeah. amazing. Some of the stuff these guys do is incredible, it right? Is. I can't even imagine doing some of that stuff. Yep. But on top of that, I think that the knives just aren't built for carry. Like mm. a lot of them don't have pocket clips. A lot of them don't have like a good latching, easy release. Yeah. Latching system that you can trust. It's built for sport. It's built for sport. Interesting. Right? Because I'm not a ballet professional, I can't say if this is one is built for sport or not exactly. I know that it flips really nice. I know it's really smooth, and it feels to have a really nice balance to it. I think you have to do aerials to become. Yeah. Do you do an aerial for it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's what I got, dude. <laughs> I love it. The cool thing about this is, is I have been kind of carrying it around and just trying it out EDC, and I, there's something really fun about it. It captures mm. something. Yeah, yeah. For sure. So, anyways, Boker Faction. I, I think it's it. really cool. It's great knife materials. And uh, I think it's something that we just don't think about very often, but yeah. could be a great little carry. It's a, it's a fascinating one. Yeah. I like it. So for all my belly flippers out there, let me know what you think about the faction. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of fun. Something let's different. See, let's see if this video gets 10,000 likes, Zach will do an aerial. <laughs> there we go. Do, does that still work? On I like that. YouTube? I probably I not. <laughs> okay, Zach. We'll make this one kind of quick. Okay. New Lander, New 14 C28N, natural, contoured. Ooh, G10 handles. Contoured, okay, yeah. With a stone wash blade. Love it. One interesting thing, we just picked this up from Unlock Composites. And uh, so this is just a regular lander, it'll fit with any of them. This yeah. is just a little backspacer. Okay. The way it works is you press it in there and then it spring fits into the back of the, uh, the lander. Did you hear that snap? Oh, that's cool. And now you have a customized backspacer on your lander. So that's from Unlock Composites. Travis is a wizard yeah. in carbon, and he's like, well, what if I did this? Yeah. And that's the thing I love about the Lander series. And I've been telling people that I am a, I sell canvases. Right, okay. Like the Lander is a pretty plain knife. Mm -hmm. I love watching people paint on it. I love it. In the sense of like, what can you do with it? Well, carbon fiber backspacer. And expand the ecosystem. Yes. Right? And and the, something that's really cool, I mean the, the natural G10 contoured, I think that's rad. Like it's a, sure. it's a but cool it's, version of the lander. You have a lot of rad versions, right? I mean it's a canvas though. Yeah. It's a bigger canvas, yeah. whatever. But right? the thing that I love about this unlock composite piece is how it ties into the philosophy yeah. of the lander, right? Yeah, like totally. be able to remove your scales and not take your knife apart, right? Like right to repair, right to mess yeah. with your stuff. You don't even have to, like literally just snap the backspacer and it's in. It snaps into place. That's so cool. To get it undone, you do have to, often you have to kind of undo fair. it here or pry it out of there. Yeah, but, fair, uh, fair, fair. It's pretty dang cool. That is cool. I highly enjoy that. I'm gonna touch this on this because it's related. Yeah. Uh, the guys over at Way of Knife made me this one of a kind titanium lander with Gary the Cat on it. 17 passes on the laser. <laughs> so like they that's literally amazing. did 17 different <laughs> settings and uh, I've been carrying this for a few weeks. So that's a one-off just custom for you? One-off custom Dude, for me. Dude, that's so cool. Yeah, we've talked about doing some more, but maybe, maybe not. Yeah, that's really cool. I also, didn't know, I also didn't know the Space Cat had a name. All the Space Cats have a name. Oh, there's dude. Gary Cat. How have I missed this? And there's Spank. Okay. S Spank is the mission commander. She is uh, a female cat. Somebody we're gonna we're gonna have to write a comic dude, book. I, or dude, I was just about like, to say we need a Medford comic book. Like that's uh, yeah, what we need right like now. Back in the day, <laughs> yes. Uh, no, this is Gary the cat, named cool. after the guy that used to own my house. There's a story there that I don't feel comfortable telling on camera. Fair, fair. <laughs> However, speaking of stories, you want to just jump into story time? Yes. I'll, let me show something that will okay, allow you to I'm jump in. into story time. I'm in. Okay, so <laughs> we were at uh, Blade Show recently, and uh, well, not recently. We were at Blade Show in June. That was a while ago. Now you got another one coming. Feels mm. recent. Uh, but we were at Blade Show in June, and uh, we swung by the Demco booth. They had some really cool, interesting stuff going on. Um, specifically the fixed blade that I'll show you guys in just a second, but I feel like this tees into what your story is. Yes. Okay, so this is the 8020.5. It's got the shark lock on the back. It's really smooth, and if you know anything about Demco and his locking systems, they're virtually fixed blades. <laughs> <laughs> 
And now that's gonna segue perfectly. In it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna take that back. I'm gonna take that back. Um, so, so anyways. Is it my story time? Yeah, five seconds, five seconds. Okay, five seconds. The Shark Lock, it is surprisingly smooth. It is super strong. And uh, I mean, everything that Demco does, I really enjoy. Yeah. You know, obviously did a ton of work with Cold Steel. Now he's doing a lot of work just kind of on his own. He was doing work on his own anyways. Yeah. So this, this 8020.5 with the Shark Lock, really, really neat knife. But it dug up some memories for Ben. Okay, so, so he shows up with this on the, on the table. Yeah, yeah, here, here, here. May I? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So, flick that thing open, though. It's so smooth. Oh, yeah. I, I was playing with it earlier. It's so smooth. Anyways, keep going. Okay. Um, so, I have nothing against Andrew Demko. Of course. I truly yeah. great, great dude. Great dude. Yeah. 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 Nice guy. Yeah. Uh, nothing against him. Okay. So, I used to work at CRKT. Most of you guys probably know this. Yeah. This is a CRKT M16. Uh, I think I stole it. <laughs> From warranty, though. Is that theft? Maybe. Ben, ben likes to steal knives. I have, I have moral <laughs> questions there. So I'm working at CRKT, and they get hit with a lawsuit from Cold Steel. Okay. Over the idea of a virtual fixed blade. So in their copy, their written word on their website, they used to call this um, Autolocks. Yeah. So they were marketing this Autolocks as a virtual fixed blade. Okay. And Cold Steel took issue with that. Right. Well, I mean, and right, like, idea of virtual fixed blade is it's a folder, but man, this lock is real strong. Virtually. Right, right. Yeah. Fair, okay. Yeah, so yeah. Cold Steel sued him for uh, basically false advertising. Right. And the, part of what they based their lawsuit on was Andrew Demko would take these locks and he'd put the knife in a, in a vise. Right. And then he'd hang a whole bunch of weight off the back of it. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so they actually had like empirical data. This data, that they, this data set of like <laughs> a paramilitary two, a cold steel, a benchmade, yep. and they'd hang all this stuff on the back. I think they settled outside of court, and part of the settlement was Mr. Ben, just one level above an intern. Right. Uh, I was the digital... This guy. <laughs> like, literally, I was like the digital marketing specialist with yep. my title. Yep. Which meant that I was the guy that had to go scrub the website of every <laughs> single virtual fixed blade reference. That's amazing. Uh, so I don't hold that against Andrew Demko, but every time I think of him, I think of those stupid videos, because I'd watch him and be like... <laughs> well, there used, to, and there used to be a lot of torture testing on Did. knives, right? Yeah. And uh, I think actually... We know somebody in the community that might be doing some... I'm so excited. If, if, if the video is out, because it actually involves you a little bit. It does, If yes. the video is out, I, I don't want to reveal anything because I don't want to give away any secrets. But if the video is out, check the description. We'll have a link to a video to one of our friends here on YouTube that might have a fun um, little torture test video. If not, coming soon, I'm sure. Anyway, um, I, I think what Andrew did yeah, was cool. Super cool. But to be the guy like sweeping up right. the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. broken glass, right. like, that was me. That's so, amazing. Thank well, you, Andrew, for that. Like, in all fairness, I think. Like, it's a fun test to hang the weight oh, off the back. Oh, it is. But like, I don't, when are you ever gonna hang off of Dude, your knife what like if, this what with if two you're, cars in your no, hand? No, you yeah, know I mean, I mean <laughs> like, what if you're climbing a cliff <laughs> with your knives? You know, fair. You're, you're one here, fair. one here. Yeah, fair. And this virtually breaks on you? For, fair, that's fair. It's gonna be a problem. I've been in that situation at least once. Uh, I've been there twice. <laughs> well, before, uh, before Cold Steel <laughs> sold, and you know, Lynn Thompson was more involved and Andrew yeah. Demko was more involved, uh, we had the opportunity to go shoot with them. Yeah. And just super hospitable, great time, right? And we gotta like, throw spears and, and cut yeah. mats. It was awesome. And they showed us their testing stuff and it was cool because even though personally, like I don't know, after a certain weight, I don't know what strict value there is in that type of test. Yeah. It was cool because they were very strict about it and they were very honest which about is cool. the way they tested too, yeah. which I loved. So I, yeah, I thought it was, it was cool, but being yeah. on the receiving end. Right, right, right. You're, 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 you're the one that's like, me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, what else you got on the table, Zach? Um, okay, well, on the on the Demco line, right? Just really quick, this was what uh, really piqued our interest at Blade Show. If you go back and look at our Blade Show video, you'll you'll see us kind of talking about this a little bit. This is the Demco Free Rain. So it's a full tang knife. You've got the hammer out the end here, nice rubberized handle. And personally, I got the Tonto version because I just think it looks tough. If you ever got to climb that cliff, Literally, right? I just think this thing looks tough, like with the Tonto. <laughs> Jamie it. was not stoked I got the Tonto version. He wanted a drop point or something else, which is fine. Hmm. Really neat knife, really cool. This particular one, I believe, is in Oz 10A. Yeah, this particular one's in Oz 10A, but at the show, they had them in Magna Cut as well, Ooh. which was really cool, Fancy. caught my eye, right? And it comes with like a really rad, like this is a Demco design sheet. Cool. Which is really cool. With the topo lines. Yep, with the topo lines. Gotta happen. So we have a guy here at NAFS named Matt. Yeah. He's in a design program at oh, one okay. of the universities locally. And he's like, if your portfolio doesn't have topo lines in it, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's kind of like an it. ongoing joke in his department because like huh? everything has topo lines on it these days. Tempo's I just, got it. I just saw a pro tech from Taylor. Right. At with, Best with, with the topo lines. With topo lines. Is it topo or topo? I've always said topo, I've Jamie. I've always said topo. 
Topo. Topo or Topo? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> How do you define that in text, though, in the comments? Oh, right? trust me. You should go watch, go look at my the comments on the Bowie Knife video. Dude, do you want to? Bowie. Do you want to? Yes. Should we talk about this? Yes, we should Jamie, talk about this. Jamie, can you get this. a close-up of this as it rolls? <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Uh, guys, so Zach walks into the, into the shop here, the NAF's shop, and says, what, what do you have this cool? And I'm like, well, how about a mini cannon? And Zach's like, yes, yes. mini cannon. So uh, this is a miniature cannon that actually fires. It is from Mini Cannon Tech, actually a guy in the community named Al the Science Pal. Yep. Super good dude, he goes Super to shows, dude. and he just like walks up and gives you a hug, yep. which I love. Yep. Uh, also, he makes these. And this is everything you need to fire said cannon. Yeah. Down to the ramrod, the black powder. Yep. Uh, I have no idea how, what this has to do with knives or EDC, but <laughs> Al is It's an the, EDC cannon. What do you mean you don't know what it has to do with knives? Do you EDC? think you could EDC this into an airport? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to Columbia soon. You should try. <laughs> I'm going to EDC this into the, into the Columbia, into the Bogota airport. I love it. Zach, th this is not yours. It is mine. Correct. However, yes, have fun. I love it. Here's the thing. Ben had this, and uh, I've had my eye on one of these for a long time. Yeah. I've just never like got around to getting one. Hopefully, Ben will get this back, but we're definitely going to show some B-roll right now of this thing in action. Um, oh, and, I hope it's good. And apparently, this also like is not a game, right? Like this is no. This is this is real. This is like like wick black yes. powder yeah, blow yeah, yeah. your eyes out. Yeah. Sort this of is thing like you're not careful. Yeah. More than like a BB gun. All right. Now you told a CRKT story. Um, I did. And uh, I actually have a cool thing from CRKT. Yeah. So CRKT's been doing a lot kind of in the premium space mm. recently. And I feel like it's kind of like a, a little bit of a flex. Because, you know, a lot of people in the community are like, oh, man, I love this design. I just wish it was, you know, better yeah. materials or this or that, right? Yeah. And it's like, well, dude, it's a $30 knife. Like, it's a great $30 right. knife, right? Like, But I want a $30 knife in Magna Cut. Yeah, exactly. Please. Exactly, right? All Titanium day. Magna Cut for 30 bucks, right? Yes. Um, and so I feel like they kind of went, like, all the way to the other side. And they're just like, see what we can do, which is cool. I've, I've been cool. enjoying it, right? Yeah. And I don't know if this falls in the premium line or not, but I have been really enjoying this pen. So this pen is called the Colette, and this is Joe Wu, is the designer I love Joe. of this. Really cool stuff. Such a good dude. What's he has two comp the two companies in same similar names? So he does Scout Leathers, where he started. Yes. And then Scout Tools. Yes, correct. And he historically has done like bits and pens and bit drivers yeah. and things like that. And then leather as well. Yeah. Uh, just a super good dude. Yeah, really awesome guy. Generally. We got to hang out with him at the uh, the CRKT. He had like this cool thing with a bunch of makers. Cool. So that was a lot of fun. So anyways, this pen though is pretty dang neat. So screw top pen, which honestly would normally be a negative for me. I like sure. a clicky. I like a clicky boy. Right? Yep. But screw top pen, and you're going to notice uh, there's an issue here, but it's my fault. There's not an insert, and that's because I broke the insert because I'm unruly with my tools. Just with your tools? Yeah, I, yeah. I'm unruly in life. As a human. Uh, what do you call me, the neighborhood cat, right? You call me like the neighborhood tabby cat? I just kind of come and go as I please. <laughs> I might disappear for a few months and then but, show back up. Like, yeah, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I've called Perfect, yeah. I'm sorry. So I'm that. an alley cat. Um, but <laughs> no, but like, like not an alley, like, not a tom cat. Okay, 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 perfect, perfect. Just like a, like a, yeah. a cat that just kind of comes and goes, yeah. and maybe it stays, and maybe it right. leaves. Yeah. That's you. Eat your dinner and then leave, that type of thing. Yeah, but also might take up residence on the couch for a minute, True. you know? Done that. So I'm an unruly person, and I broke the insert. Uh, it was literally 100% my fault. They actually have like a really fancy, like high pressurized, tough insert in that. So don't judge the insert because I was irresponsible. I didn't know I was gonna be showing it, but then when me and Ben were like, "Hey, let's show us some cool stuff," I was like, "I really have been digging this pen." So we're in town. We'll get an insert. The cool thing is, is obviously you can take that insert out. You can replace it. But the other side is what really got me stoked. So the other side opens up and it's got a scribe in it, mm. which is really cool. So it comes from CRKT exactly like this, which yes. is super fun. So you have the scribe in the handle of the pen on the back Love side. It. So you can use this for marking. You could use this for any sort of things that you want to use a scribe for. But the other neat thing, and I don't know, this isn't official, but you know like when you have something and you can figure out how to hack it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and you know that they did the hack on purpose. Right, like, I don't, I don't think this is even on purpose. I think this is just the way that this is designed. It turns out it also fits an X-Acto blade. Which is pretty dang cool. Which is pretty dang cool. And if you get the right X-Acto blade, you can still close this up. That's pretty dang cool. Which is super rad. So kind of a fun little hack. It's not even anything that CRKT is talking about because they intended it for the punch. They That's didn't cool. intend it for that, right? Yeah. So anyways, cool, little, cool little pen. Uh, it's called the Colette. It's, it's, I think on their website it's like 50 bucks, which, you know, you can get it, shop around, you can, you know, whatever, but 
cool pen. That's fun. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. Okay, Zach. Two little accessories real quick. Yes. The first is a bottle opener pry from Justin Lundquist. I actually don't even know what this is called. Okay, but let's pause really quick. So so again, we were like, dude, I've got some cool gear. You've got some cool gear we haven't seen. So I get here and he's showing me cannons and he's showing me Lander 2s and he's got this other actually really neat thing. And I'm like, big fixed blades and ballast songs. And he's like, look at my pry bar. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about this pry bar because I need to understand why you enjoy this so much. Like okay. why is it? It was sitting on so, his desk. He like he's had it there and was stoked about it. Okay, I don't drink. I don't need a bottle of yeah. beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can open a Haritos with, uh, yeah. with like a Leatherman. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't even use a pry bar, but uh, I love like the worry stone aspect of okay. this particular tool. It's very tactile. Okay, yeah, which yeah. is fun. I think Justin Lundquist does some of the, like the most pretty aesthetic design in the yeah. industry. Agreed. Like he does a great job. With Lundquist it. does amazing with that. I like the agree. chamfers on this are cool. I don't know. Yeah, it's a stupid little thing, and he sent me one, kind of as a joke. Okay, like, he and I yeah. joke back and forth with stuff, and he sent me yeah. one. And I'm like. That's actually cool. You're like, actually, I'm into it. So, uh, I've said this before. I don't collect stuff. Yeah. On purpose. I okay. collect stories from friends, right? Same. Like, I have a virtual fixed blade because... You have a whole story around it. I have a whole story yeah. around it. Yeah. And I have a whole box of them uh, that I might have stolen. <laughs> <laughs> they came from warranty, okay? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's a fun one. No, that's uh, really while fun. we're talking Chotskis, let me give you one more Chotski. Yeah, I so should have been wearing this the whole so time. So this is the other one that I was actually like, wow, this is really cool. I think I've seen Taylor Martin talk about this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. a lot of guys have picked this up, and gals yeah. as well. Uh, it is basically a ceramic ferro rod Okay. Uh, that they, they mark it as a window breaker, glass breaker too. Oh, interesting. Um, but the cool thing about it is um, you've got the ceramic and then you've got the ferro rod. Built into the necklace. Built into the necklace, yeah. Dude, that's pretty and cool. And then uh, if I can get it to fly here. Whoa, that's pretty good actually. Not bad, oh look. Uh, hey, this is a new table, please this don't damage it. This is a new table. <laughs> new building? New Let's building? Let's collect that fire insurance, <laughs> There <people>. you go. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's, the thing I like about it is, again, talking about design, and it's from Wazoo Survival. Okay. Good dudes over there. Cool. Dustin is like cream of the crop, like, the type of person you want to hang out with and you're going to learn 10 things from. Cool, that's awesome. But uh, it's really beautiful, like, jewelry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which I think is pretty fantastic. So I'll be honest with you, I love the utility of it. I love that it's always locked on, right? Because, yep. like, even in my normal EDC, even if I'm just here, like, in Salt Lake, like, yep. in the city, I like to have a way to make a fire on me. Yeah. It's just who I am. You Whether just it's... never know when you're going to find, like, a cement pipe you got to sleep in. Exactly. And <laughs> that's actually real. Ben's saying a real thing that I do regularly, like... <laughs> Not only that, but like, you know, I might end out with friends and like, you know, somebody needs a light or whatever, right? Yep. Like, I just like, it's handy, right? Wait, 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 can we stop there for, Yeah. can you like light somebody's cigarette? No, not with something like that. Like I, you keep would a, light... I keep a Bic lighter on I know, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I guess, that would be interesting can... though. Yeah. That would be interesting. Okay, now we have, we gotta try something now. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Sorry, side show. Um, so I, I, I do like the idea of having like a fire making thing yeah. on me at all times. But you said jewelry. I don't think that I would wear it outside my shirt. I think it's oh, cool. Oh, you'd be inside the shirt. Yeah, but I'm not an mm. outside the shirt type of necklace guy. Yeah. But I think inside would be cool, and then you'd still see like the leather on the neck, yeah. and it would be cool. I think you know, just like a cool look. I, I think I'm gonna wear this in Colombia and see I how it. I like it. I love it. Uh, I'm headed to Colombia with Joe Flowers. Properly in the jungle. Oh, hammock and everything. Dude, it's gonna be so wild. Uh, wish me luck. It's guys. gonna be cool. It's gonna be so cool. So it'll be fun. Dude, well. This is fun. <laughs> this is way fun, Jack. <laughs> and I'm Jamie and, told us we had 20 minutes. I and, don't know how long. And I get to steal a little cannon from you. Enjoy. I'll get it back to you. One I've day. shot it once, and I had one such day. a good time. I'll get it back to you one day. Also, we're, we're, we're I guess you always wear safety. Yeah, glasses. I, I got if built anybody. In, if built Jamie's in, spectating, it's yeah. safety glasses are a must. Built-in squints. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's black powder, so. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah, fingers, yeah, yeah, yeah. toes, okay, cool. the, the whole bit. Okay, so. okay, cool. Dude, well, thanks for having me on, as always. Dude, thanks for it's having fun. us. It was exciting to come check out the new space yeah. and see some of the new exciting stuff. It's that like you got a warehouse. I, I wish it were like, I don't know, more song and dance here. Right. Nah, no, it's good. It's not. It's, it's good. literally a warehouse right now. Someday we'll have a storefront, those sort of things. But for now, it's like, it's not my garage. And that right. is a win. It's a win. <laughs> well, on that note, guys, let us know what gear is out there that you've been excited about. Let us know if we need to get anything. And you guys want us to review something, or if, you know, Ben needs to steal a knife from somebody or something like that. I can do that. That'd be great. It's on my, it's on my resume. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.